How many languages do you speak? 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 If you could learn one more, what would it be? So one of the reasons I love this question about languages is I think it's the fastest way to learn a bit about who someone is and where they came from, you know, a bit about their family history, which is why I'm super excited to share today's sponsor, a company that literally tells you about your family history. This video is brought to you by MyHeritage. So a couple weeks ago, I received a DNA kit from MyHeritage. That's right, all you gotta do is take the swab, take a sample, break it in two like a Kit Kat bar, and then send it off. I just got an email saying the results are in, so I'm about to share this with you real time. Oh, and by the way, there's a lot of other tools on the website. Like, they have this photo animation tool. So basically, I got this photo of my dad when he was, I think he was like 19, I think he was a teenager. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to play around with this more later. But for now, I wanna get straight to the DNA test. You are... 39.2% North and West European. 35% Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. They have music, this is exciting. 20% Ashkenazi Jewish. A. That's where my last name comes from. 2.9% East European. Oh! Mesoamerican, okay, that is, that I did not know. Mesoamerican, wow, that's crazy. If you wanna try my heritage for yourself, we got a special promotion with a coupon code down below. You can get free shipping on your order and you can have a mind blowing moment like I just had. I'm gonna geek out and keep looking at this for a while. But the rest of you, you can go learn about the languages of Boston. Hope you enjoy. I speak uh, three languages. What are the three? English and Mandarin Chinese and uh, Taiwanese. You said you've been in Boston for 30 years? Yes. What do you think about Boston? Nice city, it's a nice city. Much better than New York City. <laughs> <laughs> and how many languages do you speak? One and a half. What's the one, what's the half? One would be English and half would be Spanish. Four. Nice, what are the four? English, French, German, and Croatian. How many languages do you speak? I speak four languages. What are the four? Portuguese, Spanish, English, and French. One. And? <laughs> now here's a hard question. If you could learn one more, what would it be? Ooh, I would love to know Mandarin. Mandarin, nice. Language. French. Mine would be Haitian Creole so I could speak with my family, the other side of my family. I'm from Spain. Oh, you're from Spain. Are you visiting or living here now? Um, I'm living here in Maine, in Portland. Oh, so cool. I'm just visiting Boston right now. Okay, well, the question is, how many languages do you speak? Just two, um, English and Spanish. Could you tell me in Spanish, what do you think about Boston so far? Boston me parece precioso. Tiene muchas zonas verdes, muy tranquilas, en mitad de la ciudad. Y la gente es muy agradable también. Okay, I understand a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> I know you said the people are very nice and what yes. else? And that it's very green, very peaceful. I like it here. Um, are you from Boston? No, I'm from Atlanta. From Atlanta, cool. How many languages do you speak? I mean, I speak English, then kind of French, not fluent. I took it in high school. So. Oh, cool. And what do you think about Boston? Uh, it's great. It's beautiful. When? I only speak one language. And if you could learn one more, what would it be? Uh, sign language, for sure. How many languages do you speak? Just one. What's the one? English? English, yeah. If you could learn one more, what would it be? I would like to finish learning Spanish, I guess, because I spent four years studying in college. Oh, was it hard to learn? I mean, in the classroom setting, yes. But I spent some time in Costa Rica, and I think when you're immersed like that, it works a lot better, I guess. Yeah. Uh, wait, the sun is better this way? Sorry. <laughs> Are you from Boston? Are you visiting? I'm visiting. Visiting. Cool. Yeah. How many languages do you speak? Um, uh, 
<laughs> my, my first language is este, de español. Español, sí. Yeah. Latinoamericano, soy de México. Hispano. Ah, de México, yeah, yeah. qué bueno. Hey, English, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Little bit. And? Hi, um, I'm Mexican. Somos este, mexicanos. Mi lengua es el español. Y hablo un poquito de inglés. I speak two languages. What are the two? English and Igbo. Igbo? Where's Igbo from? Igbo's from Nigeria. Very cool. And? I speak three languages, French, Arabic, and English. Could you tell me in Arabic, what's one thing you like about Boston? Um, I like that the places are good, but the people are very nice, and the places are nice, and you see a lot of nice things. What does that mean? It means that the places are nice and you'll see a lot of nice things. Very cool. And the people, yeah. Yeah. If I'm not putting on the spot, same question in okay. Igbo. What's that mean? I love Boston because of the people here. So I just met Elizabeth, who is also a YouTuber. Yes. What's your channel called? My channel called Muslim Adventures. And you're from Boston? No, I'm visiting. from the Caribbean. From the Caribbean? Yes, I'm, I came to visit, I came on vacation here. Amazing. Yes, yeah, so I know you do your channel on languages. I speak a little bit, I speak English, English is our native language. And we have, um, Creole, Spanish, and we have French. Where I live, I know a lot of people don't know where Toxicagas is, but um, yeah. it's southeast of the Bahamas. Small country? Yeah, it's a small country. It's small a population country. of 60,000 people. Wow. Yeah, so um, we, we have a lot of seafood. We eat a lot of fish and conch and lobster, and we have lo lovely beaches there. For a viewer who has never heard Creole, could you say some expression in Creole for us? Sapase. <laughs> What does Sapase mean? Sap, what's up? What's, what's up, up Sapase? Oh, amazing. Up? How many languages do you speak? How many languages do you speak? Only Deutsch? One. One. <laughs> Working on English, maybe? A little bit. A little bit. How many languages do you speak? Two. English and German? A English and German, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you could tell me in German, what do you think about Boston? Uh, for me, is Boston the geilste Stadt der Welt. I love this here, I love the Bruins. I love this, uh, this mix of uh, Ireland, Italian, America. For me, the best city in the world. And what's that mean? It means actually that for me, Boston is my favorite city. I love everything about it. I love the Bruins. Wow. I love the mixture, the uh, the European mixture yeah. between Irish and, and Italy and all that stuff. So yeah, wow. it has this touch of America that, that okay. Germans are like that Europe, European people really like. You know, it's not as <laughs> over Americanized as LA is. I speak two languages: Spanish and English. That's about it. Are you from Boston? No, originally the Bronx, New York, but I've lived here for 40 years. Amazing. And how many languages do you speak? I speak, uh, as best I might, fluent English and some Spanish. Wow. I was just in New York, actually, um, last month. I was uh, born in the Bronx and raised in the shadow of Yankee Stadium. Amazing. Yeah. Do you... You still like the Yankees, or are you on the Sox now? <laughs> I'm a season ticket holder of the Sox, but I, as a kid, as a 11-year-old, I started working at Yankee Stadium as a vendor. So, you know, you get your peanuts here, peanuts. And back then, the New York football giants played at Yankee Stadium, and uh, my uncle was the shop steward of the union, so I helped him sell programs. So it was a uh, uh, program, get your program here, can't tell a play without a number, can't tell a number without a, pl a program. <laughs> You still have it. You still have great memory. I only speak English. If you could learn one more, what would it be? I'm working on Spanish, but I think I would also want to learn maybe Italian. I, I speak English, but I'm learning Spanish in school, so I'm halfway there. How's the Spanish going so far? It's going okay. I've been learning for a long time. Uh, I think I still have trouble, like, actually having having enough confidence in myself to actually converse with someone who really speaks a language but um, I'm a freshman now my junior year I'm hoping to go to Madrid and live with a Spanish speaking family and hopefully I'll further my uh, progress then that'll help a lot yeah there's nothing like actually being surrounded right yeah yeah that's what I've heard how many languages do you speak just one if you could learn one more what would it be it would probably be Spanish for like America use um, I think it's the second most spoken language in America after English. Yeah. But I also think Portuguese would be really beautiful to speak. I think Brazilian Portuguese would be like a beautiful language. Like, wow. realistically, realistically, if I learned it, it'd be Spanish, but like, 
personally, if I learned one, just like for fun, it'd be Portuguese. It's so beautiful to hear it spoken. I just think it's, it's like when they're saying, oh, I love you, and like, this is what, how I feel. It's like, damn, that's really, that's really romantic, and I, I cool. like that. How many languages do you speak? Three. What are the three? Um, English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Ah, cool. Yeah. What's your first language? Um, Mandarin. And how many languages do you speak? I speak one, just English. If you could learn one more, what would it be? Maybe Spanish, like fluently. Fluent Spanish, nice. And? I'm, I'm gonna say like one and a half. Like my Spanish was really good for a time, but I lost a lot of it because I it was just high school. Yeah. Two. What are the two? Uh, Russian and English. Oh, cool. How many languages do you speak? Oof. I speak four languages. Incredible. French, English, Wolof, and Fulani. What's your first language? My first language is Wolof. It's a native country from Senegal. Native language. Could you tell me in Wolof? Tell me what you think about Boston. Milady Boston. Milady Boston. What does that mean? That means I like Boston. That's amazing, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. You too.